Good morning, everybody. How are you? Oh, God. I forgot to plug in my microphone. Let me know if this is working, all right? Uh, good morning, everybody. How are you today? It is Thinking Thursday, January the 21st. I had to think about what the hell the date was then. Luckily, I'd written it down on my board beforehand because of, you know, my memory's not that good. My name, though, is Kevin. I'm here with Get Moving. And Get Moving is all about helping people with mobility issues to get some good solid exercise. Um, <clears throat> So uh, if you have mobility issues, if you have a disability of some kind, if you have a chronic medical condition, something like that, an injury, um, paralysis, uh, something like that, and my mind is blank, your brain has stopped working, whatever. If you have mobility problems, then Get Moving can help you with some good solid exercise. Um, so uh, yes, before I go on, because I've got some important things to say here. Uh, from Monday, on Mondays, there will no longer be a session on Monday mornings, I'm afraid. Um, I have, uh, fingers crossed, uh, got some work and I need to do that on a Monday. So for the next few Mondays, for the next few months and stuff, fingers crossed, I will be busy. And so unfortunately, there won't be a session on Mondays going forward. Every other day, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, all good. Carrying on as normal. But just from this Monday... I'm afraid I'm busy. I won't be able to. Uh, I've got to be paying the rent and all that kind of stuff. And so I won't be here on Mondays, I'm afraid. Also, though, much more important, though, up in the description up there, somewhere up there, uh, there is a link. Um, I, I'm sure some of you, especially those in Ilkley, know Roger. Roger came to our Ilkley class before COVID kicked the balls out of everyone. And uh, he's, I've got to be honest, a really nice, fantastic chap, a real gent. Um, it's his 90th birthday, and because, you know, we all get bored when, we, when we're 90 years old, he's decided to ride 100 kilometres on his exercise bike, and he's raising money for the Royal British Legion. And so up in the description there, there is a link to his uh, Just Giving page. Please, please, please um, join us in chucking a buck his way. Uh, he's uh, genuinely uh, such a top bloke and he w he's, he's doing this and uh, I want to support him as much as possible. And please join us in supporting him. And as I say, up in the description there is a link to his Just Given page. Click on that and chuck him a buck because he's 90 years old and he's riding 100k on his bike to raise money. So bloody awesome, Roger. Please support him as, uh, with all of us. Uh, right then. Back on to today's thing then, shall we? It is Thinking Thursday. So uh, this is all about exercise, obviously. Uh, it's all about physical stuff, body movement and stuff. But the best way that we can, one of the best ways that we can help our bodies improve is don't be a sheep. Don't just mindlessly go through the motions, clocking in, clocking out. That will take us so far. That's all right. If that's all you can do, fantastic. But we will get more out of it if we can think our way th through things, plan ahead and... We are all unique. If we can figure out our bodies, their strengths or weaknesses, how to make them work better for us personally, then we are going to get the most out of these exercises. So Thinking Thursday is all about you being as independent as possible, thinking about what we're doing and thinking and planning how we can do it better. OK, so uh, first of all, we're going, to, well, we're going to do all these exercises twice, once as a benchmark and then a second time. We're going to think about one thing we can improve and work on improving that the second time round. Because as we all know, the second time is always better than the first time. It's a, it's a fact. It's a universal fact. So we can do everything twice. First exercise, marching on the spot. If you are seated, don't forget, sitting tall. Marching our legs up and down like so. But if we're standing, we'll do the same thing standing, marching up and down like so. Now, like I said, we're going to do this once for 20 seconds. And I want you to have a think about how you might improve this the second time round. Uh, three common things that we can experiment with. And I want you to experiment. I want you to play around and experiment with your body and see how things make things better or make things worse. What works best for you personally? Because I don't know you. You know you best. So you can change the speed of the exercise. You can make it faster or slower. You can change the, the size of the exercise and make it bigger or smaller. Or you can change the complexity of the, of the move. Uh, you can make it a simple move or a 
really complex move. And as you can see, I am a dance queen, dance queen, dance commander. I am, that's what they used to call me university, the dance commander. I can throw some shapes and some complex shapes. Maybe you can throw some complex shapes too, but this is where we find out. Make it simple or make it more complex. It's entirely up to you. Try something out. See if you can stand up to my dance commanderousness and be as best as you can. I'm, I'm starting to ramble now. So speed, uh, size and complexity of the move. They're the three main things we can play around with. Experiment with them, with all these exercises now, and see what works for you. Because you're unique, and I don't know you, you know you. So, 20 seconds, let's get going there. 20 seconds, marching on the spot. We're gonna do it twice. Three, two, one, off we go. So simple marching, this first time is just figuring out what you can currently do. What is your current level? How can you do this? And you're going to have a think, it's Thinking Thursday, you're going to have a think about how you can either change the speed, change the side, or change the complexity of this move, and how does that affect you? So there we go. That is round one done. We're going to do it a second time now. But you decide now, what are you going to do differently? Faster or slower? Bigger or smaller? Simpler or more complex? You decide. Round two, though, in three, two, one, off we go. I'm going to go faster. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how this affects me. Now, I know this keeps me a bit warmer. It gets me more out of breath if I do this a bit faster than normal. You might be the same. You might be different. But this is where you find out because you think about it. You try it out. You experiment and find out what the result is. Boom. Time. There we go. So we're going to do that format through all the exercises now. OK, we're going to do it once. You're going to see what happens and you're going to try something different in round two and see what happens there. Shoulder rolls are next. Seated or standing, same thing. Roll your shoulders back. If you can, roll your arms back. That's an example, by the way, of changing the size of the movement. That's a relatively small move. That's a relatively big move. So you can change the size of the movement like so. Round one in three, two, one. Off we go. So. Just to show as an example, I'm going to show you a relatively small move. I'm just going to do a shoulder roll like this, rolling the shoulders back. Now I'm going to make it as big as I can, obviously, but it is still a relatively small move. I'm going to lift the shoulders up, hunch them up, roll them back and down. Okay, that time. Now I'm back again. So that's the end of round one. Have a think about what you're going to do differently. I'm going to make it a bigger move this time, and you decide what you're going to do in three. Two, one, off we go. So I'm going to make it a bigger move. Now, straight away for me, I can feel that by doing this a bigger move, I can feel a lot more work being done in my upper back, around by my shoulder blades. And that's, that's a good thing, that is. But I can see by, by making it bigger, I get more shoulder blade uh, use. There we go. Time. And I want you to do the same kind of thing. Experiment, try and change something and see what the effect is, okay? Okay, next one, knee bends. If you're seated, stay seated, stay, so, stay nice and tall. Kicking your feet out like so, back and forth, bending and straightening the knees, nice and simple. If though you are standing, it's the same idea, but you're gonna kick your heels back towards your bum, like so. Again, we're gonna do it twice. Three, two, one, off you go. Round one assessment time this is where you figure out your own benchmark what level are you at at the moment how good you are at something how bad you are at something what are your strengths what are your weaknesses how are you at getting your knees bending like so you just see what level you're at and that's our time so you're going to change something again you might make it bigger or smaller faster or slower simpler or more complex you decide what you're going to do differently, but we're going to do it now. Three, two, one, off we go. I'm going to go faster. I'm going to change the speed. Now, actually, for me, I'm feeling this is quite easy. It's easier than doing it slower. I'm able to get some speed, get some momentum, and I'm able to get my feet moving a lot more. And it's, for me, it's quite easier doing it faster. Now it's time. 
you might find the same thing. You might find something completely different. But that's what I just found out by changing the speed that I experimented. And I now know something new. Okay, next one. Uh, what is it? Uh, twists. Twisty series. <sighs> so, seated, standing, same thing. Sitting or stand nice and tall. Fold your arms. Twist one way and then twist the other way. And then nice big moves and away we go. Again, round one. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Off you go. A big twist one way and a big twist the other way. So we're getting nice size of movement from the, the, the rib, uh, from the spine. I'm going fairly slow and I can feel my muscles working hard by doing it fairly slow. So that's time there. So what I think, I'm going to make this one a bit more complex this time. Just why not? So I'm going to, I'm going to make the arms move a little bit differently. I'm going to make a more complicated move and see what happens. You decide whatever the hell you want to do, but you're going to do it. In three, two, one, off you go. So I'm going to move my arms back as well. I'm going to get an arm stretch involved there. Now, this arguably is making it a bit, I can, I can feel it straight away, this is making it a bigger move as well, as a more complicated move. This, this momentum of this arm coming back is getting a good stretch across my chest and is twisting me around a bit further. So, I thought I was making it more complicated there. I actually ended up making it a bigger move. I honestly didn't know that until I just tried it then. It is amazing the things we can find out when we experiment. And that is what I want you to be doing today. Experiment, try things out and see what uh, happens. So, double tap time. Legs again. Sit and tall if you're seated. Sit, sit tall. Knee comes up twice. One, two. One, two. Like so. A double tap. If you're standing, same idea. This is going to get your balance. So by all means, please, if you're a little bit unsteady on your feet, you stand close to a wall or a table or something solid. Something or someone solid. Same thing either way. But make sure you are safe. Okay, they're your safety net. But if you're standing, a double tap. Like so. So round one, setting a benchmark. Three, two, one. Off you go. A double tap there. And a double tap there. Nice and simple. And again, you have a think. Are you going to change the size or the speed or the complexity of the move in the next round? I have no idea what I'm going to do in yet, but I'm having a think now. So I reckon I am going to, I'm going to change the complexity a little bit. Again, I like, a, I like a complex thing. I'm going to do a double tap, but I'm going to incorporate a hop as well. Now, this is really 100% going to involve a hell of a lot more balance. If your balance is not rock solid already, don't try this one. But I'm fairly steady on my feet, so I'm going to try and make it more complex, and I'm going to involve a hop with it. This will not be appropriate for some. It might be for some others. Only you know. I haven't a clue. But round two. Three, two, one. Off we go. So I'm going to do a hop. And then a hop. So this makes it more complex. And it's definitely getting my balance more. I am wobbling a lot more by putting this hop in. And that's challenging my balance a bit more and making me work harder. So that's pretty good for me. I'm impressed with that. Challenging our balance is a good thing, but we don't know until we try it. Ah, oh, what's next? Side bends, bendy Annas. So if your name is Anna, this is where you can shine with your bendiness. Like Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four, he goes all bendy. Again, you can see my complex dance moves, dance commander, that's what they call me. I had a little hat and everything. But anyway, bendy Annas, if you are seated, one arm goes down at the same time, oh, and then the other arm goes down. If you can, other arm comes up over the top, but we bend side to side. In three, in two, in one, off we go. So bending sideways one way, bending sideways the other way. Now don't forget, last Tuesday, I went over bendy Annas in the Technique Tuesday. So if you want to know what the hell this move does, why we do it, what's it good for, go but look back at last Tuesday's session and I go over the details of it. Because, you know, I get bored on Tuesdays. 
Anyway, round two, same thing again. Now I'm gonna change the speed. I'm gonna go faster with this one. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna change the speed. You have a think, what are you gonna change? And you're gonna find out how it affects you. In three, in two, in one, off we go. So I am just gonna go faster. Now straight away I can feel that by changing the speed, I am having to work a lot harder at this stretch point here. My muscles are working harder by going faster. So this might be a good one for me to help me control my spine and get stronger around the core. But it does take control. I've noticed that straight away. By going faster, I'm using a, I have to use a lot more strength in my core. So what's next? Ankles and tight ropes. So uh, if you're seated, getting your ankle moving as much as possible. Get your heel to touch the floor. Then get your toes to touch the floor. And heel, toes, heels, toes, heel, toes. Like so, nice big ankle movement. Now what you do on one side, do the same on the other side. Even if you have a good slash bad side, do whatever you can on the bad side. Do the best version you can do. If we're standing, tightrope walking, make sure you've got plenty of room in front of you. You've got a painted line, imaginary painted line on the floor. Feet wide is easier, feet narrow is harder, but we're gonna walk along that imaginary tightrope with me. Away we go. Heel toe, heel toe, walking away quite nicely. Let my arms help me. They're sticking out to the sides to help me keep my balance. This is an exercise about balance. And then the same thing going backwards. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Again, keeping my balance. And there we go. So what am I gonna change? Am I gonna change the speed? No, size, no, complexity. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the speed, why not? I'm gonna go faster. Now I have a sneaking suspicion. By going faster, I am gonna be more stable. I have that sneaking suspicion. One more time, off we go. So I'm gonna walk faster, heel toe, heel toe, and yep, I am feeling a lot more stable. It's like when I'm on my bike. If I'm riding quicker, I'm balancing my bike much better. If I ride slowly, it's a lot harder. Same thing going backwards. I'm gonna go a nice pace. I'm keeping my balance a lot better by going at a, a, a quicker speed. Now you might find the same thing. Give it a try and find out. Okay, fast feet. Let me change my timer for a sec. Bear with me, boys and girls. 10 seconds only. That's it. Fast feet. So if you are seated, sitting down, obviously, running on the spot, get your feet up and down, nice and quick. A small but fast move, okay? If we're standing, it's exactly the same thing, same idea. Running on the spot, little foot mo movements, small, fast movements. Are you ready? Round one, set a benchmark. In three, two, one, off we go. Running on the spot, keeping the feet moving, small but fast movements. There we go, okay. Now it's up to you again. What are you gonna change? Have a think, what are you gonna change? See what happens. Now I think, again, I'm in a complex mood today, I'm gonna change the complexity. I'm gonna move my feet instead of just up and down. I'm gonna try and move them up and down and in and out, like so. I'm gonna make it more complex and I'm gonna see if I trip over myself or not. You decide whatever you're gonna do, speed, size, complexity, whatever, but round two. In three, two, one, off we go. So I am moving my feet in and out. I'm making it a more complicated move. There we go. Now for me actually, that felt a lot better. I didn't quite like going up and down the same spot. By moving them in and out, it just felt better. I felt like I was able to do it better. You might find the same thing. You might find something completely different, but we won't know until we give it a go. Think about something, imagine, give it a try and see what happens. Last ones. Let me change the timer again for give me a sec. 
Back up to 20 seconds. Shadow boxing. All this is about getting out of breath. So if you are seated, shadow boxing, fists up, you're gonna do punching high, punching low, hooking around, up and down, whatever, but you're gonna shadow box, get yourself nicely out of breath, okay? So um, if you're standing, it's exactly the same thing, shadow box and standing. So we're gonna do three rounds of this, get your thinking caps on, figure out the best way for you to get out of breath. In three, in two, in one, off we go. Shadow boxing, moving away nicely, punching high, punching low, moving your feet if you can, changing direction if you can, and keep yourself moving, get your heart rate going. There we go, time, time, time. That is our first round done. So now, have a think, what are you gonna do differently? Me, I'm gonna make it a bigger move. I'm gonna try and exaggerate the size of these punches. I'm gonna make them bigger, okay? Not little moves, I'm gonna make them deliberately bigger. Are you ready for round two? In three, two, one, off we go. So, bigger punches, I'm getting my body much more involved. There's a lot more twisting, a lot more body movement. And yep, I can feel myself working harder and getting more out of breath by doing big moves. There we go, time, time, time. Okay, one round left. Give it your best shot now. Try as hard as you can. We've got 20 seconds of work left and that is it. So this time I'm gonna make it a big move and I'm gonna make it a fast move as well. I'm gonna see what my boon's like afterwards. Hopefully, it'll be sneaking up. So I'm gonna do a big and fast move. Final round in three, two, one, off we go. So I'm gonna do big and fast moves as I possibly can. Now, yep, straight away, I, I can feel myself working much harder. Um, oh, time, time, time. Oh, yep, that definitely got me more out of breath by doing a bigger and a faster move. And that's exactly what we want with the shadow boxing. To get out of breath, get the heart rate going and get fitter. So, excuse me while I get my breath back. So the whole point of Thinking Thursday, everything about it is for you to start getting the confidence to experiment and try things out and start to understand your body and what your body can and can't do and what effects different things have on your body. Like I say, don't be a sheep. Don't just go through the motions and do as you're told. We're all grown ups now. We have got good brains in our head. Try things out, experiment, find out what works for you. Because I can give you top tips and stuff like that, but we are all unique. Every single one of us is different from everybody else. Find out what actually works for you, because then you can really optimize things, become really efficient and make the most out of this these sessions and everything else that you do in everyday life bloody well done i mean it really good so of course uh what day is it today thinking thursday so it's fitness friday tomorrow again we're going to work on getting out of breath tomorrow 11 o'clock tomorrow i'll see you here um don't forget uh there's no sessions on mondays now uh, I'm, I'm i'm out busy trying to pay the rent um but don't forget also up in the description up there, we've got a link to Roger's uh, 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 fundraising site. He is, he's bloody 90 years old and he's bloody riding 100 kilometers on the bike. Chuck him a buck. Click on that description up there. Here's a link to his web, to his uh, GoFundMe page thing. Chuck him a buck. Send some money his way. It's for a bloody good cause and he is doing bloody awesome. Excuse me, I'm going to bloody swear when I talk about it because I think he's bloody awesome. 
Uh, I double dare you right now. Just just while I'm wittering and talking and I'm, I'm, I've got nothing else to say. So just click right now. Take your finger. Go to the description. Click on the link to his thing and chuck him some money or something like that. I'm, 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 I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit here and talk at you. Not to you. I'm going to talk at you until you go to the description, click and send them some money. Send them a pound. Send them a fiver. Send them 20 quid. Whatever. Go on. Don't listen. I, honestly, I've got nothing else to say here. I'm just going to be talking at you. I've got nothing else to say. I'm going to be wittering away. You're going to be so annoyed with my voice. The only way you're going to stop me is if you go up there and just with your finger, you press that link and chuck him a buck. Go on. Go on. Don't hang around. Honestly, I'd have no idea why you're hanging around yet for. There's no reason that I'm not going to tell you anything else. I'm just going to badger you. I'm just going to, I'm going to be, going to be even more annoying than normal. You just got to click up there. There's still eight of you here. Why are you here? Eight people. Why are eight of you still here? D go away. Go, click. Go on. Go on. Go give him some money. I, I want to go get some dinner. I can't go until you've gone. Now, what? There's nine of you. Somebody else has come here. What's going on? Go away. Click on his thing. Chuck him a buck. Go on. Let me go have my lunch. There's still nine. Oh, my oh God. I'm, I'm getting bored of my own voice now. You've got to go and click on that thing up there and give Roger some money. He's 90 years old and he's riding 100 kilometers on his bike. I, um, I have not, I've not done that. And I'm a lot less than 90. I'm 23 and I have not done that. Uh, one of you gone. That's it. Back down to it. Oh, bugger it. I'm going.